lot of times you want some biscuits, but you don't want to make a big old batch of biscuits because, well, one thing, maybe you don't need them. Maybe, uh, you know, it's just you or maybe just you and your husband. And you just need a small batch. And that's what we're going to make today. And I'm only going to use two ingredients. And this should make four biscuits. And I'm just using some self-rising flour. I use WR. Here in uh, the hills of Arkansas where we live, that's our favorite uh, self-rising flowers, WR. So I'm just using a cup of self-rising flour. And I'm going to start with a half a cup of heavy cream. I'm not going to pour it all in there. I'm going to kind of gather it up first. You know, there's just a lot of times you either get up for breakfast or you come in for supper and you just need a couple of biscuits. A little gnat in there. You just need a couple of biscuits. You don't need a whole handful of them. And I know I've had people uh, request recipes for just one or, or two people because it's such a waste for them to make a whole recipe. So this is going to be one of them. So it's going to take a whole half a cup. All you got to do is just try to gather it up. Now if you didn't want to make a mess by cutting these out, just do it, pat them out with your hand or make drop biscuits, whichever one. Now you can see how that dough's come together. It's not it's sticky, but it's not uh, just real, real wet. I'm gonna add just another little drop. Just to loosen it up just a little bit so I don't have such a dense biscuit. But that's about how quick that come together. So like I said, you can pat these out now, make your four biscuits or cut them out. I think I'm going to cut mine out. Hey, I'm not even going to roll my dough out. I'm just going to kind of just fold it over a couple times. Just make sure you got a little bit of flour on your board. Just kind of pat it out. And fold it over a few times. I'm not going to put too much time into it. I'm just going to press it out just a little bit. That's probably about, I don't know, an inch thick or so. And if I roll this one back together, that should give me my, my fourth biscuit. It's not going to be a real pretty one, but it's still, so that makes, this batch makes four biscuits. And that's plenty for Mr. Brown and I to have for supper tonight. So I'm going to get them over here on my greased iron skillet. And I'm going to, my oven is preheating at 450. So here we go, in about 15 minutes I've got two ingredient small batch of biscuits. You can see how good they rose up and look really good. So y'all try this recipe if you're just wanting a small batch of biscuits, it really works.